Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. I'm excited to tell you more about this brand new release from the company Bulgari, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my review of Bulgari Man Glacial Essence, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content here on YouTube, if you like fragrance reviews, top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, pretty much anything pertaining to fragrances, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner and of course while you're at it, please do make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way whenever I do release brand new fragrances that just came out, they will be delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. So here we have it, Bulgari Man Glacial Essence 2020 release. The perfumer for this fragrance is Alberto Morillas, who has of course also done the original Bulgari Man, which was now released several years ago. That's um, quite an interesting thought because I remember reviewing that one right when it came out and to think that so many flankers have been released in the interim is quite interesting. Of course, we have Wood Essence, we have Wood Neroli, we have Man in Black, which is my favorite. We have Black Orient. Uh, gosh, there have just been so many fragrances. I think even some limited editions or some like collector's editions have been released as well. So here we have the concept of you're standing on the tippy top of a mountain. You have this brisk air. You have the freshness in the air, which is provided by notes of uh, geranium and perhaps some clean musks. And I think this is a concept that's been done before, the whole mountain thing. Uh, of course, we have L'Air des Alpes Suisse by Tower Perfumes. We have Silver Mountain Water by Creed. And so I'm here to tell you if I think this is something unique and original. And I'm also here to tell you if there are any other fragrances that I would find myself comparing this one to just from, you know, smell alone, not necessarily the concept. I'm excited to tell you all that info, but let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So I actually quite like the box for this one. It almost has this metallic property to it, just has the name of the fragrance here in the front, and it is Eau de Parfum Concentration. The serial number is also printed on the bottom in black ink right above the UPC and your ingredients are located on the back. The bottle for this one is very nice and of course similar to other Bulgari Man fragrances that you've seen in the past. It does have this locking atomizer. You can twist it if you don't want it to spray in your bag or whatever and then you unlock it to spray it. Uh, the top of the cap is supposed to resemble a sundial and the silver accents allude to the fine metal that they use in their wristwatches. And the distribution on the atomizer is a little bit narrow, but it gets the job done. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, you're gonna get this bright, clean, and musky patchouli type of a fragrance. And of course, there is no patchouli listed in the note breakdown, but there is a synthetic molecule in here called Clearwood. I actually do have Clearwood fragrance oil here at my house, and my experience with it and what I've been told from several indie perfumers, as well as highly reputable perfumers, is that the use of Clearwood is used in substitution uh, of patchouli. And so if they're looking for a more eco-friendly alternative, they'll use Clearwood. Wood. But uh, I definitely get a lot of clear wood from this and it opens up very earthy, very verdant, but there's also this airy and bright fresh quality about it and I would say that's on account of the geranium. If you've tried fragrances like Geranium Pour Monsieur by Frederick Mall, which this smells nothing like, uh, but if you have tried that fragrance, you know that the geranium gives off like a minty smell and there isn't anything minty per se but you can see how it kind of has that pseudo minty brightness in the opening which is quite likable actually uh there's also this cedar wood thing going on in there and i think it's balanced equally with the clear wood slash patchouli uh, if i do say patchouli later on in this review i mean clear wood so please forgive me for that but what fragrance does this actually remind me of it reminds me of a fragrance that came out in 2003 and it was composed if i'm remembering correctly by Anik Minardo and it's called Atsaro Visit and as soon as I smelled this one it kind of reminded me of a blend between the original Bulgari Man and Atsaro Visit which is it's, it's okay right the fact that it's reminding me of such an obscure fragrance because that doesn't necessarily diminish the uniqueness or the originality of this fragrance um, but also considering the fact that there's an even balance of it resembling something 
with not just this one fragrance by Tsaro, but also the original Bulgari Man, kind of says that this is a pretty good iteration at a flanker of Bulgari Man. And so it is a worthwhile flanker in the sense that if you like the original, chances are you're also going to like this one because there's a, a healthy enough deviation, but it's not a completely new fragrance. Like I know the one that was very heavy on the Neroli, that one was quite different. Bulgari Man in black is also very different from the original, but I actually really enjoy that one. I think it's a very unique fragrance, aside from the fact that it kind of reminded me of Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. But this one is really nice. Um, it opens up with a very pleasant freshness in the opening. Uh, there's a bit of juniper berry in here kind of um, alluding to fragrances like not to suggest that it was inspired by them but it will kind of remind you of K, the Eau de Toilette by Dolce & Gabbana. It might even remind you of Perry Ellis 360 for men. Um, so it kind of has that vibe to it and I think that um, it's not as astringent as some of those other fragrances that I mentioned and so it's pleasantly fresh, clean and airy in the opening. And I can see how that billowy musk kind of contributes to the uh, the cleanliness of the fragrance. I think that this is the type of fragrance from the line that is more on the casual side. And so if you're going to wear the original Bulgari Man as a versatile option, dressed up, dressed down, if you're going to wear Black Orient or Man in Black as a dressed up option for the colder weather, I think this is a great option for the spring, summer and fall if you're just looking for something to wear on a casual basis. I think that the freshness that's in here definitely gives off that casual vibe about the fragrance. And it's something that is also very easy to wear, while at the same time providing you with a fresh fragrance that's a bit unconventional and not one that would land a comparison with other heavy hitters from companies like Chanel with Blue de Chanel or uh, Dior with Dior Sauvage. So it's different enough from those typical freshy type fragrances or blue fragrances. And so I kind of like that. I mean, if you're looking at the bottle and anything about the presentation sort of gave you the impression that this is going to be a blue fragrance, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised because it doesn't smell oceanic. It doesn't smell aquatic. And I think with it being in sync with the narrative that this is going to smell like the briskness of standing on a mountaintop, I think they kind of hit the nail on the head there. It does kind of convey this fresh, airy, cool uh, and calming quality about it without it necessarily smelling like uh, an overdose of mint because I think that would inevitably open up your nasal passages, the mint and eucalyptus and maybe an overdose of geranium or in this case geraniol. Um, but I don't think they relied on that here. So I think it's really cool. Uh, personally, I really enjoy it. Is it in my top five favorite fragrances uh, released in 2020? Maybe not. I think there are some other fragrances out there that as of right now, I'm enjoying a lot more with K EVP by Dolce Gabbana being one of them. And there are some others that I've tried, believe it or not, on the women's side that I've enjoyed quite a bit as well. But this one is just a very fresh, easy to wear fragrance. It doesn't require a whole lot of thought. Uh, you will get through your day smelling good. Uh, you're not going to offend anybody. Is it the most original fragrance? I don't think so. But for what it does, I think it does its job well. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I would say it's a pretty unique fragrance. I mean, it does kind of smell a little bit similar to the original Bulgari Man. And like I said, the only other fragrance that I can really compare it to is Atzaro Visit, which came out back in 2003. So for a fragrance that's 17 years old, I mean, yeah, this one is kind of unique. Uh, the smell is very pleasant and I think it lines up with the narrative quite nicely. In terms of the longevity, you're gonna get about six hours on your skin with this fragrance. Projection is really good for the first two hours, I wanna say. It doesn't really become a skin scent until about that four and a half to five hour mark so it is the type of fragrance that will get you through your work day so you can expect pretty decent performance not above average performance but given the type of fragrance that this is and i think it's one that is um more suitable for the hotter weather you can't really expect 12 plus hours from it but i think it's very well done and i'm very impressed by it in terms of the the performance that is uh in terms of the versatility i find it to be quite versatile i probably just wouldn't wear it 
in a very very cold season uh, so i probably wouldn't wear it in the winter time um, it does lean a little bit masculine and it is marketed for men of course with a name like bulgari man glacial essence um, but again these are just recommendations of course wear what you want spend your money however you'd like i think that this one is a bit more casual it's a bit more youthful i think if you're looking for something a bit more mature from the collection i would probably go with something like man in black or black orient i think I think those are really nice, especially if you like a touch of that resinous sweetness, a little bit of a tobacco a nuance there as well. And I think in terms of the presentation, I like the sundial cap. I like the silver accents that are supposed to allude to their wristwatches and the, the fine metals used for the wristwatches. You can tell there was a lot of thought, the locking mechanism on the uh, sprayer as well. You can tell there was a lot of thought that was put into this uh, presentation. My final verdict on it is I like it. I don't love it. Uh, I do like this fragrance. I think it's a very decent fragrance. I think it's very easy for me to recommend, but only if somebody is looking for just something that they just you know a, a fragrance that they want to wear ca uh, casually not necessarily something that's going to land a whole lot of compliments in that case i think i would recommend something like a dior sauvage or a moon blanc explorer or something like that or even a club de nuit intense for men by our mouth i think those are fantastic compliment getters um and if it's somebody who is looking for something very bright and airy that doesn't rely too heavily on citruses or mint i think this one is great but uh I'm really curious to know, have you had an opportunity to try Bulgari Man Glacial Essence? I'd be very curious to know. Leave a comment down below. Also, again, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you could support this channel by subscribing to it. All you got to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. Thanks again for watching. I love you all and we'll see you next time. Bye.